Applying for medical school in Germany can seem like a daunting task. But what if I told you that there are more than 11 different ways to become a doctor in Germany? I myself want to do medicine in Germany and because of my bad grade point average I struggled with admission. Over the years I learned about all the possible options which ultimately brought me here into the third year of med school. We are going to rank all of these methods based on flexibility, time needed, cost, the efforts needed and most importantly chances of admission. Of course you can't really make a general statement about the likelihood of admission. I just show what my experience was and what worked for me. The maximum score is 25, the worst is 5. The first way is, who would have thought, having a great high school graduation diploma with superb grades. Whether you can apply for a university in Germany directly or need to do Studienkolleg first, if your high school grades are very good and they translate to a grade point average around 1.0 in the German grading system and then your diploma has been recognized by the German examinations offices, you have very good chances of getting admitted. In flexibility, I would rate this a 2 out of 5 because you can't really change your grades after graduating once and if you didn't score high enough in school, it'll be very hard for you to change that. Time needed is a solid 5 out of 5. If you really stand out from your competition in this metric, you are very likely to be admitted directly the first time. Cost is a 4 out of 5 because provided that you are already graduated secondary education and you are not paying for it anymore, you only may need to pay your fees for the application via UniAssist and you can start studying. But if you are unlucky, your desired university may charge for its tuition, such as the University of Heidelberg. Minus one star for that. For if it needed, I would rate this a 2 out of 5, because for many people, such as myself, doing well in school is very hard. And chances of admission are a 4 out of 5, because again, with an exceptional grade point average, admission is likely. But luckily, this is not the only way. You can also enter medicine by not doing medicine. I found if you decide to do a vocational training program, an Ausbildung in Germany, you do not only learn the German medical technology, you will also be happy because your chances of a successful application have increased dramatically. Flexibility with this option is quite high with a 4 out of 5 because you can decide which area of medicine you want to go into and application is much more or less complicated than for university. You can also choose the length of your program which range from a couple of months up to 3 or 4 years. The amount of time needed is a 1 out of 5 because the relevant medical training programs that medical universities value do take some time to complete. The cost of this way into medicine is very low and you even earn money, you have a permanent job, therefore a 5 out of 5. Effort needed is a 2.5 out of 5 because of course a vocational training program can also be very challenging and you need a lot of persistency to complete and proceed to medicine afterwards. Chances of admission after sticking to this road are good, 4 out of 5. Germany just as many other countries is trying to move away from the great folk selection process, but other countries are much faster with that. Fortunately, you can have both medical tuition in Germany and the easier application requirements from other European universities. Medical faculties like the University of Cyprus in Frankfurt and Kassel School of Medicine, for example, offer studies in German and English and have their own selection criteria. Flexibility at foreign faculties is okay with a 3.5 out of 5 because they do offer a more simple application process, but there are only a few of these faculties in Germany. The amount of time needed is also very good with a 4 out of 5 as applications are possible on the rather short notice and they will do their best to offer you a spot directly or next semester. Costs equal out to a 2 out of 5 because tuition fees can differ. With a 4 out of 5, the effort needed is quite low. This way into medicine takes not much more effort than with any usual application. Your chances of admission are good with a 3 out of 5 because this option is not well known amongst local and international students yet. I'd assume the competition will get harder each year. Another more sneaky way into your dream medical faculty in Germany involves making a deal. International medical students can apply for a transfer to a German medical faculty. The usual steps are contacting the international's office at your home institution 
and requesting a transcript of your attended courses. With this, you can then get in touch with the medical faculty of your choice and after you are old and the new university have come to an agreement, you can live life as a medical student in Germany. The flexibility of this option, I would rate it 3 out of 5 because you might be enrolled as a specific medical faculty that does not offer this procedure or your desired med school might not comply. The time need would be a 2 out of 5 because negotiations between schools can take a long time and you might need to resit a year or two. Costs are a 5 out of 5 because it only costs time and a lot of nerve wracking to initiate this process. Efforts are a 4 out of 5 as you only really need to find faculties you like and ask your home faculty to figure things out. But the chances of a successful transfer are moderate with a 2.5 out of 5 score. Much more honorable you can feel with this way into med school. There is only one thing the German faculties love nearly as much as good grades and this is voluntary engaged students. Students with the impressive resume of voluntary internships and engagements in medicine, politics, environmental protection or any other respectable higher course do get considered as potential students by most medical schools in Germany. This helped me personally a lot with my admission. Coupled with the strong academic record, doing loads of voluntary work and projects are the nearest thing to a one-way ticket into med school. This may come in the form of a social year in a hospital you do in Germany, for example. Things like these are especially helpful as you have to complete 90 days of compulsory nursing internships in the first two years of med school anyway. If you take the time beforehand, this doesn't only boost your chance of success, you also won't need to worry about these internships during your studies. I personally found this option to be very flexible. I went all in on the the Rotary and Red Cross organization and I'm very certain that you can find something that you like. 4 to 5. But the time investment, depending on your role, can be quite challenging. 2 out of 5. Costs are nothing except investing time and love. Therefore, 5 out of 5. The efforts needed is of course substantial, therefore 3 out of 5. But your chance of admission are also not bad. 3 out of 5. Before we get into an option for adventurous people, a quick insert. If you are thinking about studying medicine in Germany, you might benefit from my free application checklist. By clicking the first link in the video description, you can get it to hopefully help with planning your med school application. Best of luck! If you are feeling very adventurous and are looking for excellent medical and personal training, then the next way might be something for you. The German armed forces hold special capacities at renowned medical faculties to have their recruits undergo medical training. In exchange for the service, they offer a personality-based selection process which allows 2,500 applicants admission each year. Extensive additional courses and great specialty prospects make it a great alternative. As of right now, these spots are only open for individuals who hold a German citizenship, but rumor has it that this might change soon. In the nature of the thing, this is not an incredibly flexible option. You would apply and be allocated to a location somewhere in Germany, therefore 1 out of 5. The time investment for the study would also be reasonable, but it would come with a fixed contract for a longer duration, therefore 2 out of 5. Cost would be very low and the pay as a member of the forces would be phenomenal, 5 out of 5. The efforts to get in would be a 3 out of 5 because you would still do your best in the interviews and fitness tests. And the chance of admission would also be a 3 out of 5. Something we all know, which can help us tremendously when applying for medicine in Germany, is the test RS. As a compulsory part of an application from India, Vietnam and China, it's also a helpful boost for any application. Students who scored above 120 in the paper-based test do get awarded a bonus and therefore raise their chances of admission. Extraordinary results around 130 will highlight your special academic skills and make universities consider an academic weapon like you. Flexibility with this is okay. Depending on your location and where you can take the exam, 3 out of 5. The time investment is moderate, 4 out of 5, and the costs are manageable, 3 out of 5. The effort needed to invest is bigger as you want to score well, you would want to prepare well. And with 3 out of 5, the chances of admission are not bad. What is bad is the next option to get admission, which involves fighting for your spot. A German medical applicant who was rejected 
will sometimes find a lawyer and they will accuse the university of falsely rejecting the application. Universities then have to prove that there is no possible way they could take one more student and they need to give reasons why the applicant was rejected. This usually takes a bit of back and forth but somehow has a great chance of success. As this is somewhat of a common practice with Germans, this has also worked with international students. Flexibility with this route is okay, three out of five. The time needed to invest is substantial. Costs are high as your lawyer will ask for money in advance, two out of five, but your own efforts are mild. Lastly, the chance of admission is meh. I would rate them a two out of five. I just don't know whether you are setting yourself up for a successful future by suing your future university. A much more realistic option would be by showing that you are really, really well prepared for the experience. As some people need to go through Studienkolleg, some get the option to do so. If you can, try to invest the extra year and really benefit from a preparatory year before starting. The improved language skills and enhanced medical knowledge you can get in that time are so valuable for you, not only for yourself. Many medical schools also give out a bonus for applicants who did Studienkolleg or an extra preparatory year. This time will also be helpful when you're applying for university from inside Germany. As Studienkollegs are located all throughout Germany and at universities, the flexibility with them is good. One year before spending six more years in Germany is a moderate time investment in my opinion. The costs are moderate, three out of five, but you will need to put some effort into it if you want to do well. After completing a preparatory year and the Feststellungsprüfung at the end, you have okay chance of admission. These last three upcoming options are some of my personal favorites. Do you know which other subjects share the first two years with medicine? If you, as an international student, enroll for dental school in Germany, you can transfer to medicine quite easily. The first of two years of both programs are nearly identical which made it popular for dental students to change into medicine and for medical students to change into dentistry. Riding that wave may also pay off for you. Keep in mind that this transfer is only possible to universities that teach the regular medicine teaching program. This is not as flexible as other options and require a possible longer time investment. The costs, however, are low as you usually do not need to pay for any fees for the transfer. With 3 out of 5, the efforts you need to invest are modest, but you will need to be willing to study another subject first. Admission is not very likely, but totally possible. 2 out of 5. Where admission is much more likely are 8 specific medical faculties. At those, a personal statement, resume and interview decide whether one gets admitted. I am of course talking about private medical schools in Germany. Those small universities are getting more and more popular as an alternative with small classes and individual medical training. Financing can be an issue here as tuition fees are substantial and oftentimes loans need to be taken out. Hospital scholarships can help cover the costs so that students can study without any worries and graduate. As students at private schools are tied to that school for the full six years and there are only a small number of them, flexibility is so-so. 3 out of 5. The time needed is the same as for any other application, no extra investment needed. Despite the different financing options, costs are a big factor and surely makes this one of the least accessible options on the list. Extra efforts are made up by preparing for the specific application assessments and shouldn't be underestimated. 3 out of 5. But if you really stand out and present yourselves well, the chances of success are very high. And lastly, if you knew you wanted to become a doctor your whole life and you are still in high school, there's a great way to do so. Many countries have German schools where you can obtain the German high school graduation diploma, the Abitur. If you fall into this category, you can apply via the Hochschulstark website and have a whole different set of criteria and ways to boost your application. Generally speaking, with this, you are applying for many more spots, but you also have much more competitors. Flexibility with this is low as you need to be doing the Abitur at your specific high school and there's no real chance of you doing it after you graduated. To do this, the time investment of trying to change schools would be big, two out of five, with possible extra tuition costs, 2.5 out of 5. 
With 3 out of 5, the extra efforts of changing schools would be tolerable, but your chances of admission would be substantially better. After going through the entire list, here are one of the best and worst ways to apply for medical school in Germany. With 12 points, suing yourself into university is the worst way on our list. Right after doing the Abitur abroad and studying at the armed forces. Those options are obviously not for everybody, but if you are eligible, maybe you might want to check them out. The top three winners of our ranking today are applying with a great academic record, undergoing a vocational training program in Germany first and then doing medicine, considering foreign medical faculties and studying at their German campus. Matter of fact, some of them also offer programs taught in English. If you want to see me more go in depth about this, subscribe now. Thank you for watching, leave a like rating and until next time.